Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about one of Amsoil's best selling and most popular product lines and that's their synthetic motorcycle oil. And this line comes in four different viscosities. Uh, here is the first one in the lightest viscosity. This is the 10W30. It's got the red cap on it. The next one has the blue cap, the 10W40. The next one, and by far the best seller, the black cap, the 20W50. And the heaviest one is the SAE60 in the black bottle. Uh, this line of oils, like I said earlier, is one of Amsoil's best selling and most popular products um, because of the just the absolute high performance that you get from this oil. Uh, the Amsoil has done numerous studies over the past 10 years comparing their oils to uh, almost every other motorcycle oil on the market. And in every case, uh, they come out on top uh, in all of these tests. Uh, and they are not the most expensive oil out there. Um, there are many oils out there that go for considerably more money uh, that do not perform as well across the board. Uh, there are oil companies out there who market a motorcycle oil and they claim that they do really well in one particular area. But when they do really well in that one area, it comes at the expense of one of the other measured areas of oil performance. So, for example, maybe they say they withstand or that they hold their viscosity very well, but they may fall down in rust protection or one of the other important aspects. And when Amsoil compares their motorcycle oils, they do it across the board in all of the measured areas, and Amsoil consistently scores in the number one position in all of those measured areas with the exception of price. They are not the most expensive motorcycle oil on the market. The 10W40 oil, or excuse me, the 10W30 in the red bottle, like I showed you a while ago, that's primarily for your gold wings and your other newer bikes uh, that are running uh, 10W30, that lower viscosity oil. Uh, the 10W40 is primarily for your street bikes, uh, your import bikes, uh, that are running a 10W40 uh, or a 40 weight oil. Uh, this covers a very large percentage of the market. Um, but by far, the most popular oil that Amsoil sells out of this line is the 20W50 because of the fact that uh, most of the Harley Davidson motorcycles on the market today uh, use this oil, and you can use it in all three holes of your uh, motorcycle. So if you have a big twin uh, that has separate engine oil, primary cover oil, and transmission oil, uh, Amsoil specifically developed this oil line to be able to be used in all three of those holes. So it makes it really simple for you. Uh, you only have to have one oil uh, product on your shelf at home or in your shop um, when you're going to start servicing these uh, motorcycles. And the same holds true for motorcycles that share a common sump. Uh, so if you have a motorcycle that's using that common sump for engine, clutch, and transmission, uh, this oil works equally well in those applications. Uh, the last oil that I showed you a little while ago, the SAE60, uh, we don't sell a whole lot of this. Uh, it is primarily marketed for those older air-cooled Harleys, uh, the old flatheads and the panheads. Uh, and the shovel heads that have some oil control issues. Uh, so this heavier oil, that SAE60, uh, will stay in those bikes better than some of the other oils because it's, it's just thicker. It's a heavier, heavier oil, higher viscosity oil. Um, but as compared to a straight SAE60 that you might find from Harley or any other oil manufacturer that's not a synthetic, uh, this oil is still going to flow uh, when the temperature drops outside. Now, 
I'm not talking about that it's going to flow really, really well when it's really, really cold out, you know, like down below freezing. Uh, but there just aren't that many people who are riding their bikes when the temperature is that low anyway. Uh, but if you have an occasional morning where the temperature drops down into, say, the 60s, uh, and you've been experiencing 80 degree or higher weather, uh, then you're not going to notice a huge difference in the way the oil flows through your motor on your motorcycle when you're running this SAE 60 synthetic oil from AMSOIL, as you would notice if you were running a conventional uh, SAE 60 from Harley or, or one of the other conventional oil manufacturers. That conventional oil is just going to get heavier and thicker as that temperature drops. And the problem that it creates is that when you start your engine up and the temperature is really low outside, uh, that oil uh, is sitting there at the pickup tube for the oil pump, uh, but it's so thick that the oil pump simply can't pump it. Uh, and so it, you really have a period of time there for several minutes until the oil inside the engine warms up to where the oil pump is not able to move that oil through the engine like it's supposed to. And so you have a period of time where you're getting little to no oil uh, or lubrication up through your engine. And that's when a lot of wear can take place because you're going to have that metal to metal contact uh, where the crankshaft and the connecting rods are going to be making full contact with each other through their bearing surfaces uh, and where your piston and piston rings are going to be making full contact with the cylinder walls uh, of the bore and you're, that's when you're going to create a lot of wear inside that engine. So it, this is especially critical in the higher viscosities uh, that if you happen to be out sometime and the oil temp and the, and the air temperature drops the ambient temperature outside drops down uh, colder than you expected. Uh, you need to be running a full synthetic oil in those conditions because otherwise that SAE uh, 60 oil or even a conventional 20W50 simply won't pump. And it won't pump fast enough uh, to protect and cool and lubricate your engine. And so you're going to do several years worth of damage uh, in one startup there uh, because you didn't have any oil flowing through the engine even though your engine was full of oil. It just simply couldn't get picked up by the oil pump. So let me go through those again real quick. You've got the 10W30 red top bottle primarily for your uh, gold wings and the other bikes out there that are running that 30 weight or 10W30 oil. Oop, wrong one. 10W40 big seller for import bikes. Uh, 20W50 is the big oil for Harleys and other air-cooled uh, big twins uh, from other manufacturers. And there's a lot of BMWs, a lot of Victories, a lot of other motorcycles out there uh, that are running this 20W50 oil uh, and then the 60 weight. And all of these are wet clutch compatible so you don't have to worry about uh, them messing up the clutch uh, in your bike. Uh, so. These oils are also uh, gasoline engine, uh, let me check here real quick, uh, yeah most of them are SAPI SG rated, um, I know, yeah they're all API SG rated uh, and they also carry an older diesel um, uh, oil specification usually back to the CF and CG4 uh, numbers for your older diesel specifications. So if you happen to have uh, some older gasoline engines or some older diesel engines, you could conceivably run this oil in all three of those, your car, your truck, and your motorcycle, um, very well. Uh, they're going to do just fine lubricating all of those uh, because motorcycle oil and diesel oil in many cases is very similar if not identical because of the the lubricating requirements being so similar. Uh, these motorcycle oils from Amsoil also contain a heavy dose of rust additive uh, because we know that a lot of people don't ride their bikes every day so the bike ends up sitting in storage uh, and as the air temperature outside uh, you know, rises and lowers uh, the condensation forms inside that engine and that water creates rust inside your engine and so 
one of the jobs of your engine oil is to control that rust uh, and it does so with an oil additive uh, to prevent that rust from ever starting. It basically prevents those oxygen molecules that are in the water uh, from forming that rust. So we get it down to the chemical level there. Uh, so again, this is uh, proven in, in many, many tests now. This is the best motorcycle oil on the market. Uh, and so there's no reason to run anything else. Uh, you can buy this, carry it into your favorite motorcycle shop and have them change it for you, or you can change it yourself. Um, either way, it doesn't matter, but there's no reason to run any other oil in your motorcycle. Uh, this does the best job of lubricating and cooling and protecting your bike. Uh, so there simply is, and it's like I said before, it's not the most expensive oil on the market. It's not the cheapest. Uh, but it is by far not the most expensive, uh, but it is the best investment you can make in protecting your motorcycle's engine, transmission, and clutch, and significantly extending the life of those uh, components. Uh, AMSOIL usually covers these oils for twice the manufacturer's recommended change interval, or one year, uh, and we know that the one year usually catches most people before the two-time mileage limit, but if there's some heavy riders out there, uh, then you still have to change the oil once a year uh, because so much water can build up in the water, or so much water can build up in the oil inside of that year uh, that it's really the only way to effectively get it all out of there sometimes, uh, especially for those bikes that aren't ridden that much. So um, that's it for now. Uh, if you want to purchase any of this oil or any other AMS oil products, please go to our website, MinutemanPerformance.com. Uh, please visit us on Facebook and like us there. And please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Uh, when you subscribe to us here and like us on Facebook, you allow us to be seen by more people. And that allows us to do what we're doing for you, which is to try to help you answer your most difficult and challenging oil lubrication and filtration questions and problems. So if you have one of those questions or problems that you just can't seem to find an answer to, please uh, send it to us in an email at info at minutemanperformance.com or post it down below here on YouTube or send us a message on Facebook. It doesn't matter. Just get us the question or concern and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Uh, while you're on our website and, and it links you to the Amazon website, uh, please consider becoming an AMSOIL Preferred Customer. If you're going to buy $100 worth of AMSOIL products in a year, uh, it really makes sense. And, it'll, and then AMSOIL will ship those products straight to your door. Um, you can become a Preferred Customer for either six months or one year. And that also allows you to, uh, well, becoming a Preferred Customer allows you to save about 20% on your order. Uh, allows you to buy at the wholesale price. And it also allows you to buy AMSOIL's uh, products out of AMSOIL's other two divisions, which is their Ultram vitamin line and their Agran fertilizer line. So if you have a need for any of the products in those other two lines and you are a preferred customer, then you get to save that uh, almost around 20% uh, for the wholesale price in those two lines as well. So again, our, our website, MinutemanPerformance.com. Our email is info at MinutemanPerformance.com. Go to Facebook, Synthetic Oil Info. Stay with us here on YouTube at Synthetic Oil Info. And that is it for now. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for visiting. Have a great day.